Hey, this is Marcus Sun Discipleship. Eliminate evil. First Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 22. Stay away from every kind of evil. The absence of heat is cold and the absence of light is darkness. So is the absence of God. It is evil. The world does not need God since the standards is kept for the people to follow away too much. Therefore, the world tries its best to get people away from God by giving them half-truths. People are baited into it so easily and they cannot even discern the difference between truth and falsehood. The knowledge and fear of God is not existent anymore. Jesus taught his disciples to stay away from evil and he even prayed to the Father that he would protect them from it. The prayer of Jesus in John chapter 17, 15 says, I'm not asking you to take them out of the world but to keep them safe from the evil one. Jesus was practical in his appeal. God cannot make a separate world without evil for his people to dwell. We still have to live here and Jesus asked God to protect us as we live every day. This is also the reason why Jesus sent his Holy Spirit to be alongside with us. The disciples of Jesus were conscious of God all the time that they did not have any room to falter. Even with some of their preconceived ideas which were culturally ingrained, Jesus helped them to get out of it. They were ready to change and was willing to obey and please Jesus. The prayer that Jesus taught his disciples had a component where they would declare that they should not be led to temptation but to be delivered from the evil one. Evil is a serious issue to work out from being trapped to it. As Paul wrote to the church in Corinth, bad company corrupts good character. So are some people who get corrupted because of the wrong relationship. They would not even know when they have lost themselves to evil since they get desensitized to evil. The good in them eventually fades away to their dismay. Therefore, it is wise to examine our ways to eliminate evil. The question for us is, whose company are we in? Do we associate with people who are passionate for Christ? Or are we accompanied by people who behave like hypocrites? Disciples of Jesus are straightforward and practical. Be a disciple and make disciples. Amen.